broken generation were looking good. Well, the visuals are looking good, at yeah, least. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. At least. You know, new spot and that. You know, new Looking flex. good, feeling good. As always, you New know. flex zone. I know all of that. So for flexing on them, my brother, and we're talking about flex, have you flexed enough That's in your question. life? That's a good question. Or is there some flexing that you feel you may have missed? Talk to them about something. No, no, I like we did that. Talk to them what? about something. <laughs> we did that from expertise <laughs> and that. No, I was having I was having a conversation with someone. Um, okay. A little while back. They brought this up, but I just thought, right, that's deep. So let me bring it to the pod. Let's have a call. Bring it off. to the pod. I thought, are you this is a general question to anybody to ask yeah. Are you grieving the life you once had? Jeez. Or are you grieving the life you thought you'd have? Okay. Deep, you know. Because basically, I was having this conversation with a female who had, who had, um, who has a relationship, yeah? Put it like that. Has a relationship. Okay. And this relationship kind of went sour. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then she thought, right, do you know what? Because of the because of the ramifications of that relationship, the things that I missed or I wish I had. Okay, yeah. It made me think about the same thing. Like, do I grieve the person I think I thought I would be? At this age. That's a deep one still. It's a deep one, isn't it? Let's converse, isn't it? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. So 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 how do you how do you fit well, as a kid, I'm yeah. assuming you dreamed about who you'd be at this age or where you would yeah, be yeah, or yeah, what life would look like at this certain age. And something happened along the way that either negated your view of what you were going to be obtaining it or changed it to something else or changed it to what it is now. So Talk let's be honest. I'm going to sit down and yeah, be yeah. honest because my honesty doesn't sound like reality. Okay, talk to me. So I was having this conversation as well um, today, actually. Not that, but I was saying how I grew up yeah. was crazy. Okay. Like I had a mad upbringing. Yeah, yeah. Like I lived that good, typical council life. Yeah. So my expectation of life was like, yo, get older, get a job, have money, have a house, enjoy life. That was more my expectations because I didn't yeah. see that. I saw my friends have that. Yeah. I saw other people have that. Like, I'm talking early years. So my expectation was, yo, I'll be happy if I have those things. And I don't think I've ever raised my expectations higher than that. So that makes me turn nigh that I'm happy in my life. Like when I actually look back and think, you know what? I've done things. I'm happy I've done them. You know them ones? I could be in a better position financially, but I've got a family. I've got a partner. Like I'm living my life. The yeah. only thing that is missing is financial aspect, financial freedom. Yeah. Other than that, I'm happy. Like I said, I could be in a better shape. I could, do, but all of these okay, things okay, are good. Okay. Yeah, yeah, They're yeah. not needs. Then I don't then... necessarily need to be, well, I don't know, my health might be affected. You know, I might need to lose weight for my health, but I don't necessarily need more money. The only reason I need more money is because I want to do different things, yeah. but I'm surviving. Yeah, yeah. And I think... As a young person, as a kid, my life was to survive. Mm. You know that was so. Mm. It's a mad like when I, this is what I'm saying. When I'm trying to explain it, there's a concept to survive and thrive. Yeah, my concept was to survive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Growing up, my concept was to survive. I was never a five thrive person. Okay. You know that was like I wanted yeah, to be yeah, a yeah. footballer. That was my dream. Got a bit older, did music. I'm saying yo. I want to be a musician. Do, do, do you grieve? Because you may not, but do you grieve the ambition of being a musician? Do you think that, right, I wish if I could go back, I wish I just tried more harder or maybe I, or is it you just, you, you're happy with the fact that you know, I'm surviving? Do you know what? I've come to terms with the fact that I went as far as I could go. Okay. yeah, yeah. Like I went like, yes, I could have done a lot more. But I wasn't interested in partnerships. I wasn't interested in paying people to do things for me. I wanted to do it myself. That's my own ego. That's my own drive. Yeah, yeah. So whereas I could have paid people to do better videos, I could have paid people to make tracks. I could have done this. I could have, but I didn't because that wasn't who I am. Yeah. 
You know that one? So when I look back, that's what I'm saying. A lot of stuff is I could have, not that I needed to. Yeah. So it's a difficult one because people say like, you should have ambition, you should. But when I look day to day, I'm like, no, what, what, what more could I have? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I hear that. I hear that. But I would like more money. Yeah. But like they say, money don't buy happiness. What am I going to sacrifice in order? Because make more money for me would be working more or creating something that I don't currently have. That's going to take time. Yeah, yeah. Then that time is going to take me away from my family even mm. more. So mm. now am I sacrificing being around my family to yeah. make more money to improve? You know, yeah, it's, a, yeah. it's, a, like, it's a constant circle. Take you on. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. not in a position to make more money by something I have without it taken away from my family. So yeah. am I sacrificing my family to make more money? Okay. Yeah, I told you. Okay, it's, it's, okay, okay, okay. You know, okay. when you told me that, you know all what? of them things sparked. The, re the reason why I brought it up is because I've, to some extent, I do grieve things. Okay. And what, and what I mean by that is like, there, there, was a, there was a Dean Henry where I thought I would be at my age. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought I would be uh, like happily married, kids, mm -hmm. house, picket fence yeah of course um do you know what i mean just like successful and striving yeah do you know what i mean and i guess that's that's the yeah that's where i thought i was man so and, and, and to some extent that's what i grieve i grieve like making bad decisions bad choices not fighting for certain things not putting in more effort because to some extent i thought yeah, I really thought I was going to be somewhere yeah, totally yeah. different from where I am now. Um, so to some extent, yeah, I do. I do grieve a lot of a lot of things that I've not achieved. Even the the, the place and person that I am now, I still mm -hmm. grieve the person I feel like I should have been. Many 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 different ways. Even in space, into even in terms of like people's perception of me. Yeah. When I was a youngster, I wanted to be someone that was exceptional in the point where. Not like I was better than people, but like people would look at me and be like, "Oh yeah, I want it. I want that. Yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I, yeah. I like what Dean did there. Oh, I look at his relationship there. I like that. I like. Oh, do you know what I mean? I wanted people to look at me and be inspired to do stuff themselves. Um, and I and I don't think, in the same regards, people look at me as inspiration in that regard. Okay, that makes sense. No, hundred percent. But then I think so. Like what you were. I don't know. Maybe because I am where I am now and I've done a lot of reflecting, but I don't know if I wanted to be that person, but I become that person. Like okay. I was the person people looked up to. Yeah, yeah, people yeah. thought I lived some mad life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like through my early teens and then like early twenties, through the music stuff. Yeah, yeah. And obviously I had like a pretty out there relationship. Like people oh, saw yeah, my, actually, yeah. you know, like people saw it. <laughs> yeah, 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 they, yeah, 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 they yeah. assumed it was, you know, we look like the Jesus, celebrity yeah, yeah. couple yeah, thing. Yeah, facts, facts, yeah, you know yeah. them ones? So um, like people yeah, yeah, used yeah. to say to me all the time, oh, like you must be so happy. Oh, I wish I, I wish I. And yeah, I used yeah, to yeah. think, and I always say, I even pull it in a lyric. Listen, I'm just a platform. Like you should aim to be above anything I've yeah, done yeah, yeah, okay. because all I've done is all like foundation. Everything yeah. I've done in my life is foundation. Okay. I don't think I've gone above foundation, but I'm happy okay. with that. Yeah, yeah. So I think when I was that person, and obviously I do youth work and like a lot of the people would say, oh, this, you've inspired me to do mm. this, you've inspired me. So maybe because I've had that, mm. I don't grieve it. Yeah. You know, and I know I'm going to get to a stage where I'm no longer going to be that person. Yeah. And I've accepted that. Yeah. Like what people said then, but 10, 15 years ago, they don't say now. Yeah, okay. No one turns around to me now and yeah. says, yo, your life looks amazing. I wish. Okay. okay I okay, wish, okay. I, I wish, you know what that was? Or in, in, in its totality, but they probably still, like, you've got some great things that people are like, oh yeah, I wish I had that. Yeah, and I don't, yeah, and yeah. to me, it's not even great like that is what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. it's just normal to me. I don't feel that it's great. And it, do, do you know what I hear? Or I feel I, it's great to me because I enjoy it, but I don't yeah. feel like, people looking at it think that it's Same great. Way. Joe, I, f I hear when you speak is like, it sounds like you're contented. Yeah. You feel contented? Yeah, dangerous place to be. But, okay. I don't a know happy it, place. Yeah, I don't know if it's a, it's a dangerous place necessarily because I feel like my, my parents are contented. Yeah, but I think content means you're not looking for improvement in life. You're happy. Possibly, with, okay, okay. You know, and I'm not saying a change or I'm not saying 
like simple improvements. Like we like we said, and I always speak about it, and it's a change I need to make, but being more healthy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I come to the like I come to the you know what? I'm happy with how I am. Where yeah. really I should be pushing. Okay. You know, but you because feel, yeah. high life is and I still go and do what I need to do and you know, things happen. It's not affecting my day-to-day life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm content mm-hmm. when I need to not be and I need to push mm-hmm. beyond that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I think in that aspect, content is very dangerous. Yeah, okay. nah, and I hear that. I hear that in terms of future elements of what you could be and yeah. become and stuff like that. Uh, so I was having a conversation with a, with a female once. And she says um, she grieves the fact that she's a mother. Jeez. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Deep, Me- deep. Meaning, and it's different for us as men because life doesn't change that. It no. changes, but it doesn't change anywhere near it the way it does change for when a girl, when a woman becomes a mother. Yeah. 100%. And I, and I think they lose a sense of who they are. Their identity changes yep. Yep. and they're tied down to a specific location, specific area for the foreseeable, it looks like. Um, and I think even though she was happy with her life, she's happy yeah. with her life. She, to some extent, still grieves the fact that, rah, I can't just get up and go. I can't yeah. go party every weekend. I can't, I can't just, I want to go on holiday. Yeah, yeah, I just want to get <laughs> you up can, and you go. Can't, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you yeah. can't do those things. Um, so I hear it from her perspective when she was saying that. And, I'm, and it made me think about myself because a lot of the things I have, is whether it's gripes, whether it's um, hangups I have, a lot of that is because of my childhood. Okay, yeah. And because of my viewpoint, and I've said this before in this part, and I've said it so many times, but because at one point in my life, I wanted to be like a pastor. Yeah. Not just a pastor, but I wanted to be a community pastor in the sense of not only do I have a big church, which I'm in like preaching to constantly, I'm doing things in the community, setting up events, setting up charities, like setting up buildings where people can get jobs, IT situations. Like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like my vision for myself was so much bigger. um, And I grieved that. Not, I don't grieve the relationship I have with God or, or that church life aspect, but I grieve the vision I had for what okay. I could do in this city. Yeah, yeah. Like I genuinely thought like this city would be transformed by me. And I know okay. it's arrogant. No, that's not, it's, why, that's not arrogant. To some, to some extent it is. because it's, it's arrogant in a sense of me. I'm going to change it. But it's not arrogant yeah, in a yeah, sense yeah. of you believing you could change it. Yeah, facts. I would say. It's not saying that I could do it myself. It's because I think like through me, yeah, yeah, I yeah. wanted this city to be changed, transformed in so many different ways. Um, and, and I still have that desire to some extent. I think bigger of myself, like not in myself, but like I want bigger or I want more for everything that's around me. Um, but I grieve it in the sense of, I don't know how I could do that. Yeah. Now. Whereas before I could do that, because I thought I had, fa- there was faith there. There was a church system. There was, there was like disciples, quote unquote, people that I could yeah. encourage and they'd make moves when I'm making moves and stuff like that. And when you step out of a church situation or a, a, a community situation, it's hard to garner people that believe in you or believe in your message or believe and trust what yeah. you want to do in terms of the city. So I grieve that hugely, um, which is one of the reasons why I do so many things. Yeah. Like, not only do I write books all the time and I'm thinking about it, <laughs> like, oh, what what kind of event can I do or what kind of business can I start up? Like, even in terms of like the situation, like the little of course, situ- business situation that I'm doing at the moment. Yeah. It's so that I can fund what I really want to do. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah. yeah and, that, and, that's, and that's something I'm always going to grieve for because I'm never going to be, I'm never contented. So what, what is missing? Yeah, go on. Like, what is missing? Like, I hear what you're saying, mm. but what is it you're missing? What do you feel like you're missing? Purpose. Uh, why? Okay. So like the reason, uh, it's deep, isn't it? It's deep. Cause the, yeah, the, yeah, the re- no, that is deep. And I think that's what, um, yeah, not to, go, not to talk about church things or religious things, but I think that's what religion does. No, I, it what gives, I was going to say. It gives you a purpose and it, and you, you view the world in terms of we have a reason why we're on earth. Yeah. And if you take away religion, like you have to find a purpose in yourself or find it in something else. Like I have purpose in my children. Like I want to see my children grow up and of have course. great lives and things like that. Um, but what I had before was just bigger than that. That's all. And I think this comes down to childhood and maybe early adulthood when someone might have told you you're going to change the world. Yeah. Not and they yeah, may yeah, not yeah. have yeah, yeah. Facts, said facts, that facts, to facts, you facts. personally, yeah, yeah, yeah. but it was made like it's a belief what that you're yeah. doing, how you are, your attitude, your vision, your drive. This will change the yeah, world, yeah, 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 yeah. And maybe that 
installed in from that young age, like I'm actually have a purpose to change the world. Oh, and I guess you get percent. to this age and realize I haven't changed percent. the world. Yeah, Whereas yeah. for me, through maybe I didn't take it like that, but I didn't feel that what I'm going to do is going to change the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I never felt through music. I was happy if someone come up to me and said, yo, that tune, this, that people come up. Like, I was happy that people were relating to me and was able to understand or they were going through things. Yeah. That for me was enough. Like, yeah, I didn't yeah. need to change the world. So I guess no one's ever said that to me. I get, they yeah. may have, but I haven't interpreted yeah, yeah, it like yeah. that. So, so and from on my perspective, it, it was reinforced every time I heard a sermon. Every yeah, time okay. I heard it. Yeah. So like when I read the Bible and I hear stories about Noah, Moses, yeah. like David, like fighting Goliath, Daniel, like the prophets, this, that, and ever. I'm here where some people would hear that story and just be like, yeah, that's, that's dope. Yeah, me. I'm hearing yeah. it and I'm like, no, that person there, that's me. That's who <laughs> yeah. I'm supposed to be. Okay. I'm supposed to be fighting a Goliath. Where's he at? Like, where's, okay. where, where is, uh, where, like, I'm supposed to be King David. Like, I'm supposed to be building kingdoms yes. and doing this. Yes. Do you know what I mean? And even people in church, not everybody in church felt like that. Yeah. yeah. It was me. It, it's something inbuilt in me. That I, was, I was listening to it and I was like, yeah, I can see myself in that story. Yeah. 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 Do you know what I mean? Yeah. No, no. I hear you. 100%. And, and having that reinforced in your head since you were a baby or a child, and it's like, not, no one never really forced it on me necessarily. Maybe they did and I just didn't notice it. But I always thought like I was meant to be that guy, if that oh, makes sense. Okay. That makes sense. No, I know, so, it sounds so arrogant. No, it doesn't. It, it doesn't. Because, yeah, yeah, go on. So let me pull it into my context. So my context is football. Yep. Talk. So not now, but definitely when I was like my younger years, I felt the pressure on myself to change the game. So okay. I like, so if I'm on the sideline or if I'm playing, yeah, I'm telling myself, big man, you're the man that changing the game. Like you're that guy. It's you. Yeah. yeah. Like pe other people might not even think that, <laughs> yeah, yeah. but I'm saying, listen, if I do this and I do that yeah. and do that and I move it, I'll change the nah, game. That's a fact. Yeah. You know that yeah, one? Yeah. And I've always thought that I don't feel it so much now because I'm slower. And, but when I was younger, yeah. I put that pressure on myself to say, yeah, yeah, yeah. you're a game changer. That's facts. That's good. That's so good. that's what I believed. And yeah. that was on it. Like people might've said that was arrogant. People might've said you was too confident or cocky or whatever. But I put that pressure on myself. I believe that much in my ability yeah, yeah. that me singly can change this game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know what yeah. I ones? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. don't, like, I don't really believe it now, like I'm saying, but definitely go. Yeah. But then people fed into that ego. Yeah, yeah. You know, like people would say, oh, you was the outstanding player. You was this. Yeah, yeah. Like then people at the end of the game, oh, why are you here? Why don't you play higher? Yeah, yeah. What? And then you get trophies and you know that, and these things happen. So and all it, of that together makes me- It reinforces says, that thought pattern. Yeah, hold like, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm the game changer. Yeah. You know them ones? So that kind of, like I would never, I was never arrogant about it. Like outwards, yeah. Yeah. inwards. I'm like, yo, what am I doing here? Why am I not getting paid? Why am I, you know them ones? But, but inwards, it was like- <laughs> I mean, outwards, I was a team yeah. player. Like, I've always been a team player. I would yeah, never yeah. be... Well, a couple of times I have to walk off. And, yeah, yeah, no, fact, You know, now I because it gets like that. But <laughs> I've always been a team player. Yeah. But deep down, I feel like, yo, you're the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, them ones, yeah. I felt like that. So yeah. I get what you're saying. I know it's a complete different context, but I know the pressure. And then if we did lose or something didn't go right, I felt that pressure on myself then. yeah, yeah. Like yeah, yeah. end of the game, everyone's like, yeah. nah, you know, it went and I'm thinking, nah, man, like, I'm angry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, and I'm not, ang I know, like I'm angry with the team as well. Cause yeah. we didn't perform, but I'm angry with myself that yeah, I wasn't yeah. able to change the game, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know? And then I might run through things, you know, oh, you did that. You should have scored. You should yeah, have yeah, shot. Yeah, facts, facts. I've let go of all that now, but so I hear what you're saying. I know it's different and, context. And I, 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 and that's how I feel all the time. Well, I, how I used to feel all See, of the and time. Because I remember them feeling all of the and time. thinking yeah. like, you're putting too much on yourself. Big yeah, man. yeah, facts. So yeah, I used yeah. to, you know, but I couldn't help it. Yeah, yeah. So to feel like that in life. Yeah, yeah. Yo, that's, that must've been hard so, work. So, yeah, it was, it was. And, and I don't feel, I still, I don't feel like it now. Yeah. To that extent, but I still okay. feel, I still feel it. I still, still feel, feel like the pressure. Yeah, I still feel like I need to make a meal soon, mate. I need to I need to set certain up for people, man. I just you know what I mean? I still feel like that. And it's it's a it's a it's a bad thing if it if I never do it. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I mean? But I'm still arrogant enough to think like, do you know what? I think well, I think I could do it, you know. Okay. I'm still arrogant to think like, do you know what? Maybe I can't change the whole city. 
I can make a difference. But I feel like you've got the work rate though. Okay. Like your work rate's never, I've never, you're someone from we've been young can never question your work rate. Okay. Like, you know, you got that work rate. Like you said, you write books, you've got events, you help set up stuff. You, you're always looking at something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So your work rate is there. So I understand what is fueling that work rate yeah, yeah, yeah. is the need to be <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The great. And, and you know what it is? It's, again, this is, when I look at history, yeah. the people who I remember, even, I'm not even looking at history, I could do that, but let's just talk about our own lives. Yeah. We go to funerals. I've gone to funerals since I was a kid. Mm -hmm. Since my mum said, yeah, he's old enough to go to a funeral. I've been yeah, going to yeah. funerals often. And people in like, so a black community, whether it's churches, it will, I've gone to the funerals. So at some point I was the, I was pre, I was leading services. I was yeah, leading yeah, funerals. Yeah. So all of that being said, you, you have a mindset in terms of you are only as good as, I know this isn't the right way to think of it, but you're only as good as your eulogy. Your legacy. Yeah. Your legacy. The mm -hmm. amount of people that comes to your funeral, the amount of people you touch, the amount of times you think that they're going to be talking about you on a Saturday when I roll in playing, <laughs> playing dominoes or Monopoly or doing this or doing that. Um, and to some extent, uh, there's a legacy that I'm chasing. Okay. Does that make sense? Okay. Yeah. But just to make the... the oh, the, it does, it does. Just to make this all wiser or bigger or more encompassing, like... I think people grieve a lot of things. Yep. So it could be that they grieve a relationship that they broke up. Yep. You know I mean, or maybe they, their, 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 their boyfriend or their girlfriend cheated on them and they broke up. And now they're like, rah, look at him or look at her and now. Yeah, yeah. No, and I think, you know what? You know what? what I mean? think that happened. Maybe not a lot, but I think that happens more than we know. Yeah, or care to admit. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah care to admit. That's the word. Do you know what I was going to say? The, th the things that we're grieving, because we don't grieve them properly, we make stupid decisions. 100%. Like if, if I'm, if in, in and of myself, if, if I'm like mourning a relationship that I've lost or I'm mourning a relation, um, a friendship or a, a job or this, that and the other, I throw, throw things out of the pram and I go, I'm just going to go beat this random girl over there. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Just, do you know what I mean? And I think we make so much stupid decisions just because we haven't sat in a grieving process and been like, do you know what? I really messed up there. Yeah, or yeah. they really messed up there. Or I just miss it. So we go and we chase other things to make, take our minds off of the, the grieving process yeah. or this, that and the other. But the thing is, like you said that, I remember someone saying to me, a relationship breakup is like grief. Yeah. Like there's stages to it. And I say, yo, you're full of yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Grief, right? Well, like death. <laughs> but in a sense... On a real one, there it is. It is. Yeah. Because like you said, at the start, you're like, you're thinking, oh, maybe there's still something. There's mm. And then you have to get to the point where you accept it. And yeah, then yeah. you have to get over it. And then like, there's things where you look back and say, actually, you know, there were good times. Yeah, there yeah. was, the, there yeah, was yeah. that. So I think, like you're saying, grief especially relationships, things, you have to go through a process. Yeah. And from what you, from what I'm understanding you're saying, you haven't gone through that process on certain things. Yeah, certain things. Or I you haven't. have, have you got there now? Yeah, I think on certain things I have. Okay. There's, there's, there's two things I've, I grieve the most. I've, I don't know if I've said this before to you before. There's two people who, who passed away. Okay. One person, I didn't even go to his funeral. I yeah. felt, I just felt peak about that. And I still grieve that to this day. That's yeah, like, yeah. how many years ago was that, bruv? Um, and there's another one who I didn't go to see him before he passed. And I knew okay. he was very ill. And I just thought, oh, I don't want to see me. He wouldn't want to see me. Yeah. And I, I grieve that to this day. And I, that's, those two things will probably stay with me forever. That's crazy, isn't it? So that's like decisions. Yeah. And I think, I think like looking back, like I said, I've, I've tried to live life with no regrets. Yeah. Obviously you make, you make silly decisions, you do silly things, but I'm trying not to look back and reflect on them and think, what if? Because yeah. we're not in what if, well, we're in right now. Yeah. But I think there are a lot of decisions that probably make up who you are. Like, I do think if I would have done that instead of this, like, well, for one is when I won the MC competition, like when I was 16 and I was meant to have this, that, contracts, yeah, yeah, yeah. MTV base, all of these things. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Chased it for like a month or two. Yeah. And then just left it. Yeah. So maybe, and that's when I was saying that was my pride. Whereas if I was, if I contacted someone, if I contacted management company or I opened up to allow someone else to help me, they might have took over that yeah, yeah, and yes. I might be in a different position. 100%. But I know I made the decisions that I would probably make today 
or I might not because I've learned from my mistakes, but if I was ever in that position again, I would then take into consideration, yeah. yo, remember the last time this happened? So um, that's what I'm saying. So I'm using it as an experience more than grieving. So I'm thinking if I'm ever in that position again, maybe I'll act differently or yeah. use my past experience to Ooh, act differently. Yeah. Sure, there's one, there's one girl, I, I, girl I, um, <laughs> I didn't actually chat to in it. Okay. We're, we're cool forever in it. We've been cool forever. Yeah, yeah. And I just didn't take the next step with her in it. But why? Why? I just didn't, fam. What? And now you're, like, is that something now you're thinking? Now, nah, every now and then I, 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 I was going to say, is there, every now is and there an opportunity to learn from your mistake? Uh, yeah, I can learn from it. No, but, but with you know her, what it is? Oh, nah, nah, nah. It's oh, not, it's, it's not, it's oh, techie now. It's techie now, isn't it? Yeah, oh, it's techie. You can't what do they say? That, that boat sailed. Yeah, yeah, that's gone, that's gone. <laughs> that's gone. There's no more boats no more, man. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Sailed to the other side, but I can still see her every now and then. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. You good, you good? Yeah, yeah, cool, Hi, man. Things. Cool, man. Yeah, you all right? Oh, how's he treating you? How's he treating you? Good? Yeah. Oh, oh, like yeah. that, yeah. <laughs> How's the husband? Yeah, yeah. Oh, how's doing? Oh, I saw a picture of you guys on Valentine. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. Oh, the husband's still around. Yeah, oh, yeah. still oh, making you happy. There. How you doing, fella? You alright? Hey, good mate. Nah, you're not serious. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Right, let's go. No, actually, but let's talk about that aspect. No, go on, go on. Do you, do you, do you, let's go on. talk about that aspect. So, in relationships and so on. Yeah. Like, I don't. That's what I'm saying. I think I'm a different person, but I'll talk on behalf of what I think anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah go on. But like, say you separated from a relationship, or yeah, yeah. whether it's right or wrong, whether you was in the wrong, they was in the wrong, and then do you want to see them succeed? So do you want to see your partner succeed and be happy, like an ex partner? Yeah. Or oh, are yeah, you, yeah, of course. Or are you happy that their things aren't really together? <laughs> you know. Like, <laughs> so I put. I that's put a status before that said. Yeah, yeah, go on. Um, I live life on a dice game and gambles. You see me smiling because my ex's life is a shambles. Wow. So that's kind of deep still. <laughs> but bars are still as well. Yeah, yeah, it's bars still. But I think like on the back of that, it is because maybe I messed up. Yeah. So I'm not saying me personally, but yeah, I'm yeah. saying maybe I messed up and now I'm saying even though it was my mess up, yeah. You messed up in the long term now. Mm. So that's the way I can justify okay, okay. that I didn't make a bad decision. Okay. So I'm not grieving okay. that relationship. Because long term, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can look and say, you know look what? at me now and look at you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, okay, that's deep. <laughs> that's hella deep. That's hella deep. <laughs> no, it's not even no, I'm trying to like I said, I'm yeah, trying yeah, to put yeah. it in context. No, 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 it's good context. I'm not talking personal opinion, I'm talking so context. I would, yeah, I would I would say like I've never all of my exes that I've ever had, I want them to be successful. Oh, okay. There's, there's no grieving of like those, there's no one I want to go back to. Yeah, 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 cool. There's someone I didn't pursue that I, I Oh, sure so it's of. more of a, oh, okay. I wonder what that would have been like. Do you know what oh, I mean? Like, okay. oh, do you know what I mean? Yeah, but like, you already know, <laughs> that's the forbidden fruit. That's the, you know, that's, that's always going to be the one yeah. that got away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. There's always going to be on a, that. On a deeper level though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are some things that are deeper than others and some people might mourn like, um, abortion okay yeah you know what I mean maybe they're, they're maybe they're um they're grieving like the a literal life that could have been yeah and in the moment maybe they were the age maybe it's their relationship they decided look boom i'm going to make this decision or that decision they they might grieve that like that's something that a, a woman or a female might grieve for ages well forever even a, even a guy for ages yeah. in terms of looking at maybe they've got a child now and they're like all oh, right you would have been the second child yeah third do you know what i mean or even someone's decision to, oh, you know what? I stayed in Gloucester or I stayed in this town rather than going to uni away. Yeah. You know what I mean? And maybe they don't think about it, but I don't know if it's because I'm getting older and I'm just like thinking about my old, old, old life. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? yeah like man, man. You think, get it? You look, I think it's, because I did it today. Like I said, I was having this kind of conversation today yeah. and um, we was talking about something and I was saying, Listen, see in my fur is when I was fresh. I showed them the six pack. Yeah, I showed yeah, them my yeah. beefer. Us man in I beefer. I showed yeah. them and I went I and up. Yeah, I'm yeah. saying, look, look, I'm on the back of the boat. I'm living yeah, life. Yeah. I got the gold chain. I'm yeah, here. Yeah. I'm like, and I don't grieve that because yeah, I'm happy yeah. I lived yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that's not who I am now. Yeah. What I was saying is obviously I don't grieve that because I've already lived it. Like I might have been enjoying life or things might have been better then. Mm hmm in some aspect but i'm gonna look back in probably five years at this time and be like oh look at that my kids are little 
you know, in five years, they're going to be grown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to look back and say, oh, they were babies. Remember that time? So, and that's another thing I've heard as well. People say, yo, take all the time you can with your kids whilst they're little because you're going to turn around and they're yeah, big. Yeah, yeah. Older be, people yeah. grieve that. Facts. Oh, I wish I still had babies. You hear people say it all the time. Mm-hmm. Oh, I miss my kids when they were babies. Yeah, they were so cute. They were yeah, so they were so yeah, cute. Yeah. Oh, I wish, like people say that all the time. I don't know if they're grieving it. Yeah. But maybe think, they didn't live in that moment. And I, that's what I'm trying to do. Live yeah, in the yeah, moment. Yeah. So I don't regret it 10 years. I think there's time. definitely people who are grieving the moments that they've lost because yeah. they decided to to do either go to work or do something else rather than oh, I spend time with my kid. And they may be like grown up now and yeah. they're like, I don't really have a relationship or a deep 100%. bond with my child. Does that make sense? 100%. Um, so that's, that's, that's probably something what people are grieving at the moment in time as well. And like I said at the start, when I said that I, I'm happy, I'm surviving, I know I could do further, but is that putting my relationship, my family at risk, pursuing that? then I have to look back what's more important to me, not what people see, you know? Because yeah, yeah. people think I'm rich. I'm like, brother, I'm, I'm bro, yeah. I'm poor, brother. No, yeah, but people yeah. like look at me and say, no, nah, but you do this, you do that. You go Amsterdam, you go here, you go there. Like you must have money. I'm like, nah, I spend time with my family. That's why I look like I've got money yeah, 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 <laughs> because yeah. we go out and do stuff. Because <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not at work, yeah, you know? Yeah. Whereas people that are at work ain't really doing a lot because they're at work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a catch-22, man. Catch-22. I think, I think, I think it's, um, it's interesting to say this because I think <clears throat> some people might say you shouldn't grieve because your life wouldn't have turned out any different. Maybe that's a negative thing. Don't okay. think about, oh, like fate. You, you should be exactly that. Yeah, fate. yeah, yeah. <laughs> like the fate of this stuff just dropping off <laughs> yeah, when we've yeah. been talking. Um, and you shouldn't think about, oh, the life you could have lived or you should be living or anything else because you are what you are. Like, mm-hmm. this is what you should be focusing on. So maybe to some people might think if it's a negative to grieve at any other life that could have been, what could have been. But I just think it's interesting because for me, again, I'm a thinker, so I think about everything. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? of course. And some people may not be thinking anywhere near as deep as this, but I just think it's something that I thought we'd bring to the pod because I think there may be people that are grieving something. Yeah. Maybe they're grieving a lost limb or maybe they've got asthma now or they've got cancer or they wish yeah. they did something else when they were younger or this, that and the other. So I'm just interested to know how do people grieve? Yeah. What are they going to do now that they've And I think there's probably a lot of people that grieve in silence or secret. Like, you know, they grieve in secret. Like you said, you might see someone, like someone you go to school with, ride past in a nice car and you're thinking, oh. Yeah. yeah. You know, like if I would have made that decision... That would have been me in that nice car. And wow, we got a reunion, school reunion coming up soon. Facts. Like, do you feel any Facts. pressure about that? Do you feel like... Oh, when they ask, oh, so what are you yeah, been up to? Yeah, yeah, like, Shit, I've been doing nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me. <laughs> well, I've got a couple of kids. I, you know that <laughs> Like, do you feel any pressure about that? Uh, nah. No? To some extent, I'm leaning on the fact that I'm still ish young. Okay. I'm not young because boy, man's got grey hairs in my what? nostrils. You get me? Yeah, yeah. But but um, yeah, I'm I'm, I'm calm with it. Yeah. I'm calm with it. And so you know when why? people ask you, and you know why? Because uh, I hope this don't sound disrespectful. Like, there's no one that I know of. I was going to say we went to a dead school. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. <laughs> what I'm saying, there's no one that I know of that has reached the upper <laughs> echelons. You know what I mean? So it's like big man. What? It don't really matter, does it? Do you know what lyric is stays with me <laughs> for life, bro? Oh, talk to me. When Drake said about his high school reunion, yeah. I might I might show off and make everyone go through security clearance. I said, that's the one. I said, that's the big man. Imagine yeah, yeah, you go yeah. to your high school reunion or yeah, school yeah, yeah. and you have to go through security yeah, yeah. because Drake's in there. Because Drake. Drake was your, one, you of your, you know? one of the man that used to be. One of the man that, me and you, me and you, you know what that was? And you blown and now we're having a reunion and I have to yeah, go through yeah, security because yeah. you're Just in you, there. I said, yeah, 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 that's it. Yeah, that's yeah. when you know that's the yeah, different yeah, yeah. level. You've, you've achieved something. You've yeah. achieved. <laughs> that's when he's got his purpose. That's a fact. He's making his Imagine, school friends bro. go through security. All of the guys like, must have turned him down when he was in yeah, the all of them. All of them. Yeah, yeah, well, you see that's people, fact. don't you? They go on podcasts and interviews. And yeah, yeah. Are you, that brother that was with Beyonce before before she blew. Oh, is it? Yeah, there's, there's, a, yeah there's a brother okay, that okay. like talked about being with Beyonce school. They were together like okay. five years. Oh, no, facts. Yeah, yeah. I think I've seen that. Yeah, actually. yeah. Then obviously she went off to do the Destiny Child thing and joined that. Yeah. And they split up. And now she's where she is. And 
You know them ones? Yeah, to be fair, I'm not, no one's gone clear in it, so it's... <laughs> So I'm, I'm hoping. What? When's you? When's it? When, when is it? April. Something like Either that. Either April or May. When? It, yeah, I'm hoping no one blows in the. <laughs> I'm to that point. Yeah, my man turning a million multi-millionaire in two oh, weeks. Oh, do you know what? I think there's people that's not far off. You know. Oh, is it? All right, shout I out to them. So, shout out to I them. think so. I think so. Shout out to them. But anyway, they might come in and they might say, "Oh, what? You got kids? You know what? I never really did the kid thing because I've been so focused on." Yeah. That's all. That's what I'm saying. That's all, a fact, all, man. They might have the perfect life: yard, kids. Big money. Two wives. You know, two wives if they wanted to. Yeah, yeah. Three kids from different gyal. Yeah, and you don't know, brother. Whatever makes them happy, yeah, innit? Yeah. No, no, I hear it, man. I get that. And that's what you need that's to do, man. Life. Whatever makes you happy. I don't think we should be living a life now at this age where we're doing stuff that doesn't make us happy to try and put on a front. Yeah, yeah, there's no friends no more, fam. You know, like we shouldn't yeah, be dead. trying to be someone. Yeah, that's dead. That's but dead. we're not doing it. We're not happy because like people at work, people that go to their jobs every day, it's a good job, but they hate yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, But they want that. Like, I feel like when I told people I was manager or assistant or deputy manager to now when I say I'm like a TA, yeah, yeah. like people took more notice, respect. What, your manager? Yeah, but I wasn't enjoying that. Yeah. Whereas I'm enjoying my job more now. But people looked at me differently when I said I'm manager. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but yeah. I obviously went through its times, but I just feel like I need to do what's best for me. Facts. I think we all need to do that. Deep um, one. Yeah. Very deep, fam. Very deep. deep. one. Very you know deep. what it is? It brings... Go on. Stuff just fires, you know? And yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You talk, I think, oh, wait there, I need to say this. And then you're probably thinking the same thing yeah, when yeah, I'm yeah, talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, like yeah. Probably, I'm probably contradicting myself with stuff, but it's because that's what's coming in my head at the time. Yeah. Well, I, I, we're this, pros at this podcasting we, thing, you know? Well, there should be awards, to be fair. There we're pros at this podcasting thing. That's facts, man. I've been watching, listening a lot of podcasts over the past, since the new year. Yes. That's my new thing now. I don't yeah. really listen to music. I listen to podcasts. And some of them are trash. It don't flow. There's like gaps. It looks like they're reading off. And these are big, big podcasts. Yeah, 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 of course, of course. Some of them even got sponsorships. Jeez. You know, I like the free... Well, maybe that's just me. I like the free flowing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I like that. Like, I know one you really rate that it's not really for me is the um, the brother that interviewed... Uh, Steve. Did, huh? Steve. Steve, is that his name? Yeah, uh, CEO. Yeah, 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 yeah. It already worked for me, to be honest. Oh, what you said? Oh, okay, okay. Shout out to Steven, innit? Old tight Steven. Yeah, it don't really work for me, whereas I listen to No Behaviour, where them are just talk <laughs> mad now, and that for me worked. Nah, that's fire still, that's fire Whereas I wouldn't listen to, and yeah, I couldn't yeah. get on with Joe Rogan. Yeah, like, okay, no, yeah, I don't yeah, really yeah. get on with that, but, you know, I like the more... That's my kind no, of I hear it. No, I hear it. I you know what it. I'm I saying? So, Down to earth, man them and that. Yeah, yeah. That's what I like to hear. And I'm, I'm assuming that we're some of, some, some of yours favourite podcasts as well. 100%. You know I mean? Top three at least. No, 100%. Top three at least. No, but I am surprised the amount of people that do come back sometimes and be like, oh, the podcast. Watch him, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah what happened, yeah? Yeah, I was in, yeah, yeah, they do. What's my man's name? I forgot his name, bro. I was in Tiny. I was in... Um, I drinking a little bit. Okay. Um, one brother passed past me and goes, "Oh yeah, yeah, what big podcast man over there?" Isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. I watch you. I see you, bro. I see you. And I was like, Poor. humble with it, yeah. Very. Humble. So does that not Very. does that not bring any um, creditation? Do you not feel anything from that? No, yeah. it's just no, no, no. it's life. I need, I need, I need, I need the women to be screaming. I need, okay. I need that. Yo, can I get your autograph? Yo, <laughs> sign my son. Sign these body parts, you know. Until that happens, in it, whatever. I've had that. That's what I'm saying. Oh, is it? That's what I'm oh, saying, see. big man. That's what I was Mine's saying grieving. when I, you know, <laughs> yeah, when when I was at my peak. <laughs> you know, I remember. I remember. I was like, yeah. When girl come over, oh my gosh, danger, blah blah blah. Give me a hug, yeah. I managed to stand in there. Can you take a picture of me in danger? Yo, you know what I'm like this? You know, like I'm looking. Because yeah, the yeah, brother's yeah, looking yeah. vexed anyway. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. he just saw his girl lose it. Yeah, 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 yeah. For a local man he's probably known for years. You know what that was? He sees me riding my bike through Coney Hill, brother. You know what yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I hear And right, the girl yeah, give yeah. him the phone and said, can you take a picture of me in danger? I know he's vexed. 
You know that was? I still see the brother arise sometimes. Cause that moment, you know what I'm like? Yeah. Good moment, yeah? you fuming, yeah, good bro. Good moment, yeah? He's fuming. So I guess, yeah, I don't moment, know. Yeah. Maybe I've had it, maybe I haven't. But yeah, you're right, you're right. people are starting to say, oh yeah, bro, yeah, yeah, I see you, man. Yeah, I see what you, man, are doing. You know that one? So, yeah, we have to take 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 it where we can get yeah, it, man. Yeah, see what we can see. Share love, innit? Spread love. That should be someone's uh, resolution, innit? 100%. Yeah, spread love. If you like the pod, tell us you like the pod, innit? Yeah, yeah, don't be like, scared. Like, share, comment, subscribe and that. Jeez. The usuals, the usuals. You know what? Out there, people. We're on the Spotify. We're on the YouTube. Hopefully going to get a couple of guests in before we have to vacate this new premise, sis. And you'll find us somewhere else again. But hopefully you're going to get some guests in whilst we're here. And other than that, people. One more thing. Jokes and juice. Okay. Can't, 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 can't run off before I forget this. Okay, yeah, yeah. So, boom, Jokes and juice. January was dope. It was a nice little event. Jokes and juice in February. What, next week's will probably be... This will probably come out after that. Well, I don't know. We might have a... We'll possibly, see, we'll see, possibly, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Um, but there's the March one. Again, yes. January, February, March are the free events. Completely free. So March the 15th, that's Wednesday the 15th of March, is the next one in March. Um, 10 comedians from up and down the country, London, Bristol, Birmingham, Swindon, uh, a few more local ones. 10 comedians coming down, completely free. Make sure you turn up. It's at the Picture Drome on Barton Street, 164 to 167, I think, or something like that. On, on Barton Street, make sure you check it out. Um, get your tickets on Eventbrite all of that all of that all of that make sure you come man people come the event's free go buy your drinks party smile giggle laugh all that good stuff my brother easy as that